Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products and Focus. And we have a very interesting kind of uh, formulation of all the different markets all kind of coming together right now. Whereas yesterday we actually saw gold prices spike that much higher, usually indicative of fear in the market. And then you had kind of equity markets just slowly just kind of grinding higher. You know, they've had a great last couple of days, but yesterday they pretty much kind of flatlined. And there's a few things that are kind of bouncing around right now. Some common themes that you guys want to be aware of. Obviously everybody's all still talking about oil and uh, there's been more updates from the Saudi finance minister. They said that, okay, there is a product, they talk about a production freeze, but under no circumstances will there be a production cut. Obviously, they still have to raise money to pay for wars and uh, their big benefit system in their country, everything else like that. So that's not gonna happen. So oil prices kind of pretty much flatline now. Also, there's news that uh, in the US, all the storage capacity that they have, apparently is at 97.5%. Now, there's a big problem that if that goes to 100%, crude prices could be very, very heavily pressured because there's no more storage. Massive, massive oil glut. So that could obviously add extra pain to, uh, to, that, to that market. And West Texas crude is trading at about $30 right now. George Soros has pretty much come out as well and talked a lot about the refugee crisis. And he has um, kind of come out and recommended that the Eurozone utilize its AAA rated Euro bonds to help finance and pay for what he says is an existential crisis in the Eurozone. And it kind of is, you know, everything's kind of fragmenting right now. There is a major, major problem with this and they need money to deal with the problem. And um, there's lots of big question marks about that. There's also um, kind of, a lot of analysts are talking about the potential for a British exit from the Eurozone as well. So uh, David Cameron has been in Brussels and he just came out of like a very, very long meeting where I don't think he left till about 5.30 in the morning um, to talk about what he can go to the British public with uh, as concessions for, their, for them to remain within the European Union because we might be having a referendum uh, in the not too distant future and there's big question marks about you know, how British voters will go. So if you have a look at the Euro uh, sterling exchange rate, could be very volatile times ahead. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of the fundamentals, but as ever, I'm a technical analyst, so let's look at things from a technical perspective where things are getting very, very interesting and you wanna keep your eye on gold relative to the equity markets as well. So let's go ahead and have a look. So this is US 30. As you can see there, a complete failure to really do anything of any significance, and we're still at this level so far today. 76% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. The other technicals are relatively neutral. Still potentially a double bottom right here. Uh, if we could just break and close above 16,460 uh, with any conviction, we could then look to rechallenge the 55 period SMA and then look at a move towards 17,000, but that's a bit of an ask at the moment. Moving on to the UK 100, it had had a fantastic run. Uh, it had broken above this potential trending uh, support level, uh, resistance level, sorry. So what I'm gonna read, I'm just gonna slightly redraw that to the tip of that cat. So I'm gonna redraw it to there, okay? That's probably where we are, if I'm completely honest. So we still need to get above 60, 70. We're a little bit away from there just now. We're on the wrong side of that 55 period SMA. 71% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. Moving on to the Japan 225, you can see that resistance level has remained in play. Uh, 16,384, potentially a strategic level. 57% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. Uh, we have been lower this morning, it's ticked slightly up, uh, but to be honest, it's not really that exciting until we get a little bit closer to that level, and that looks to be short-term strategic. Moving on to dollar yen, moving slightly lower, off the session lows, 111 spot 61, could be the next potential support. Again, you saw the spike, well, you haven't seen it yet, but we're gonna look at gold in a minute. It spiked higher. Uh, Japanese yen as a safe haven spiking higher. You can't really have the yen and gold spike higher and have equity markets move higher at the same time. Normally they go their opposite directions because one is a, is a hedge against fear. Another one obviously is uh, when things are going fantastic. Moving on to West Texas crude, you can see that, that slight reversal. Uh, but we did have a very, very strong day uh, after the, the, the Saudis and everything else. Uh, and the Rand, as Rand was potentially coming to the table. That's not followed through with, uh, with any new news. So we've seen a little bit of a reduction. We're still on the right side of that 21 period SMA though. Uh, so keep an eye on that level. CMC clients are almost 50-50. Looking at gold now, you can just see that massive spike higher that we had yesterday. That came late on in the session. You had a bit of a reversal so far this morning. You got a high, lower high, lower high, lower high. 
Again, 1191 could be where a lot of battles are fought, depending if you're bullish or bearish in gold. Longer term potential resistance all the way up at 1300. But again, if gold is spiking higher, that's, that just means that equity markets and interest rates in the US are, are, are pretty much smashed. So that's something to consider. We do look to be getting a bearish cross on that, a slow stochastic to watch out for. Very close to a negative crossover in the MACD. You can see the histogram has really come off and obviously we're already on the wrong side of that RSI level. So from a technical perspective, it, it, it is looking, um, the pressure is building, but obviously there's fundamentals to be aware of. So looking at euro dollar, euro dollar is at a very important level. One spot 11.05, it's been lower, finished on the level, still there right now. 75% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. So one spot 11.05, looks to be an interesting level for traders out there. And finishing up with GBP USD, uh, we tried to have a rally there yesterday. One spot 43.52 is a potential resistance. GBP USD is just not that, that exciting at the moment. So let's have a quick look at the market calendar as ever. Uh, and today we've got UK retail sales, CPI from the US and the Eurozone uh, CCI. And we mentioned that on Monday, we've got PMI from Germany and the Eurozone and on Tuesday, Germany GDP, US uh, Consumer uh, Confidence Survey, and existing home sales to start off the week. Well, guys, very good luck with your trading, and uh, join me again on Monday to find out what happened next. Thank you very much, and goodbye.